Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. So we have here 2004 Toyota Matrix with super low miles, 111,000 miles. And the vehicle was sitting for a long time. And as a result of it, there was a problem with the idle. We got a code P0505 and it was obvious that there is a problem with the idle control valve. I removed the Toyota part and it was stuck. The, the rust from sitting basically caused that electromagnetic unit not being able to move the shaft which is inside it's like a long shaft that regulates the idle i tried to clean it here really quickly but i didn't want to take it apart because it has a special bolts and so on and it's way more work i contacted the owner and the owner got two choices hundred dollars for aftermarket valve which is right here and we can see the box which is still here from it it's this doorman or 400 for Toyota part however Toyota part wasn't available so I got that doorman the vehicle idles awesome and drives on the test drive everything it's fine Look at that, 111,000 miles, but it throws back the code. I erase the code, look at it, let's link it. She eventually wants to sell this car, so she will need to smoke it. And now we have immediately the code back, so let's erase it. Look at it, erase was successful. It's missing. So right now I have zero, I don't have any codes. But she took the vehicle and this came back basically, really quickly. She got it back in like a one day. I just restarted the vehicle. And look at it, the code is only one time I shut it off and the code, I erased everything, the monitors are starting from scratch and the code for idle air control system is back. All it took is to switch off the ignition and restart it. The code is already pending back, you can read it right there, pending. And if I give it to her back with this, well, she will be not really happy, will she? How come the brand new part is doing these problems? The idle is pretty good. It's probably, if I look in the live data, like 950, so it's pretty close. But this car doesn't like it, it doesn't like that aftermarket part, and it's refusing it. And I was saving this Toyota part, which I have removed, which was seized, right? Couldn't move. I was saving it, so we will together do the cleaning. We will take it apart, including the electromagnetic part, and do the cleaning. However, when I heard from her that she has a problem with check engine light again, I'm like, aha, I'm afraid. This part is a fail. And I have to get ready immediately for her arrival this part. So I did remove these bolts, which they have a special tool for it. I completely cleaned it. Now I see that inside, that part which moves, I can see perfectly. I have it free. I had it all completely apart. 
I put it together and I'm afraid that this is a fail and when I put this old part which is perfectly clean right now we will be not having the same problem let's go and see together and this whole situation will probably end up like what some kind of video on this YouTube channel like don't ever buy aftermarket parts no matter how conveniently available they are or no matter how much cheaper they are we will see we will see if I'm right I'm afraid that doorman is no good there is a one more one more detail which I will discuss with you this is what happened to me dealing with this doorman and I couldn't believe it I should take it as a clear sign to return it keep the car and say to the customer no here is Toyota which was clean this is the old gasket which came with it there was that rust or surface oxidation on that aluminum on it but I cleaned it all and now that valve perfectly moves it's completely free I just didn't have a chance to install it back in the vehicle here is the doorman the number here is the gasket supplied with a doorman and this is what happened right after I got it from the box believe it or not these three holes for these three Phillips screws which are holding it to the throttle body were not at exact distances like on Toyota the holes were very slightly smaller I actually had to take the drill bits and very slightly enlarge it on this all three screws perfectly went in the places on the Toyota throttle body when I was trying to install this on the bottom of the throttle body actually these two bolts will be perfect no problem but the third one this opening was actually not matching this opening so it was the problem I had to already modify it which is obviously will void the warranty but it was already in this manner it was already junk I cannot believe I should have I guess stopped but again I wanted to return the vehicle to the owner who wanted to use it that day so I did what I did and I think now you are saying Peter you know better and yes I was working under these two facts the Toyota was not available and it was four times more expensive however I think this video will prove me wrong I should start buying stuff only from Toyota no matter the cost and I will have not these problems with customer coming just few days back saying oh I don't know what's happening she's not mad or anything she's because she also works right here 400 yards I believe from me so for her she's in the office no problem she just wants to have it done and smog it and sell it now when I'm erasing that coat I'm basically restarting everything from beginning so let's go and see if old original OEM Toyota part which is perfectly clean right now will actually work better than brand new aftermarket doorman I will install it back and we will look together on its function we will see which one is better I can't wait to see how that idle will be if it will be still thousand or if it will settle 
exactly on that 850 or that's that's where it's supposed to be somewhere there so let's see what is dormant main in china if it was absolute waste of time or we have a different problem and this will fail too here is that time this is what i meant that that dormant valve didn't fit it on that throttle body now i'm putting toyota as we discussed just want to show you really what i meant these two screws bolts philip bolts were perfectly aligned but that one was just not being able to install it. i had to very slightly it was very very small adjustment but i had to adjust those three openings right here in order to be able nicely with a good feeling nicely install the doorman on this throttle body so let's go put it back and observe the results of this whole shebang so I have original OEM Toyota part which was clean perfectly clean and at least physically confirm it was perfectly moving without any problems it's installed back all the wires everything is back except the beauty cover right there we don't need that all the clamps are tight the muff sensor was cleaned a week ago so that's fine let's go and see let's listen to this engine and let's see if this will actually solve the whole problem I can try RPM from here and we will go and see if the computer will throw the code immediately like with the doorman or if it actually will go away the problem. So the mysterious ways, huh? So, shut it off. Oh, I need a clutch. We discussed that before. It's a manual. And we will bring the scanner. Look at it idle. You see, the doorman will not do that. The doorman will not move below that thousand. Here you actually can see the location of the connector. So, this is right here. As you can see, it's not reading anything yet. To link, they say you have to put ignition on. Not starting it, just putting it on. And now I can push this button and it will link itself to the vehicle. Something tells me that this original part will be not triggering that P0505. So we had it there, right? We'll erase it. It was triggered previously. Erase was successful. Push the DTCs. We have zeros. And that happened already before. I will leave it there because I need to sit somewhere. But now we sit. If we start it up, I need to have the clutch in, right? So, anytime you restart, it needs to link again because the moment when you start a vehicle, it will lose the connection. So now we have a zeros, right? And that, that already happened. It's nothing new for us. Now, I will leave everything hooked like before. We don't have check engine light. It's not pending. You remember that pending right there, right? We lost these monitors because we are erasing the codes. So let's go turn it off. And last time when we did that, it will actually trigger that code. 
right now I lost the communication that's the moment of starting so I'm starting from beginning again I bet you it will be not there see that we don't have a pending P0505 somebody's calling my name let me go and talk to the person so we have another customer who just bought that vehicle and is questioning the engine oil level so he, we need to park it and I will show him because there are always these two levels on the dipstick right you guys know that and he wants to learn how to be absolutely clear about that meanwhile since we have open shop I can keep running and idling this vehicle there's nothing wrong with that because we wanna see that that repair was successful so that was our interruption I said to the owner just swing by look at that look at it we are not pending we are not pending anything my friend one more time right that was immediately being triggered that doorman was triggering that code and it was pending immediately after one switch of ignition again the idle it's completely different we can even leave the live data read live data together it's not pending and look at it before it was touching thousand it was maybe thousand fifty now we are in that range of 850 and so I'm back I explained to the gentleman in possession of his Camry how to see the level on the dipstick look at it right I, I think I will stop repeating this you guys know what I'm trying to show you the idle it's completely down from that thousand we can look on the live data so you see it's not coming back she will be able to keep driving it and finish the monitors and smoke this vehicle here in California now you already can visually see that the idle it's way below thousand but we have a live data here right so if I touch this engine RPM 7 58, 771, 754. I always fight with these glares. It's the last line on the bottom. I could scroll through it, obviously, if I see vehicle speed zero, 768. So this is idle as it should be. This vehicle proved us that in many cases, and not all, obviously, there's case when you can use aftermarket parts without hesitation and pay half price than Toyota but in this case that's a something to remember don't buy idle air control valves from Dorman because you will end up fixing it up later I'm not afraid to share with you my mistake if I do one and this is definitely a mistake I love to share it with you guys. Please share your experiences below the video. That's why we're creating this community so everybody can scroll through it and read what the others have to say. I know in general many of you in the videos, in the comments says, oh, Dorman, it was a good quality maybe 15 years ago, but all the quality of these products went down. Uh, I guess reading your comments it's confirmed this had uh, two problems the fitment of the bolts Philip bolts was incorrect one of them was off slightly and it will not idle correctly because thousand over or let's say thousand rpm it's too high for this engine you know it's incorrect it's too high and also the moment you turn off the engine and you put it one more time you have pending already P0505 which was basically that indicator in beginning when that vehicle was sitting for so long the valve got stuck it stopped moving the electromagnetic current couldn't move that so ECM was telling us hey go and look there there is a problem it was correct 
and I bought the wrong part so doesn't matter it's hundred bucks I lost a bunch of time I know I didn't lose the customer she will fully understand why we, we did those options that's, that's totally fine what's important this baby is running better and better and she will be pretty soon able to smog it and pass it on the friend so thank you for watching if you find this helpful give it thumb up please and be subscribed i have way more coming your way soon see ya